Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to share with you lots of Blu-rays that I've recently found in the past few weeks thrift shopping. Um, I'm you know trying to build my movie collection and now is like a really good time to go look at thrift stores for Blu-rays. People are just giving them away. So I found quite a bit and stay tuned to see which ones I have now added into my collection. <laughs> Welcome, my name is Elisa, and i am been sharing my thrift shop hauls. So today, I'd found so many Blu-rays, I thought I'd just share them all in one video. On Sundays at my local thrift stores, it is half off physical media, so the typical price for Blu-rays are $4, and on Sundays I can get them for $2. And it's crazy how many Blu-rays I have been finding lately. So I think if you're a collector, now's kind of the time to be looking for stuff because people are, you know, getting rid of them and donating them. Um, there's definitely some that aren't <laughs> very great out there, but I've lucked out, and so some of these movies have been movies that I have wanted to have in my collection or some of my favorite, all-time favorite movies, and I was so excited to end up grabbing them on Blu-ray. So let's start and see what I found. So the very first one is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. I don't have, I don't, I don't have any of the Transformers movies on Blu-ray, and we definitely liked, I want to say, the first three, so, but I would like to have them all in a collection, but for two bucks, glad I got that. Sex in the City 2, and this one was brand new, still, still sealed. Um, I love Sex in the City. It's one of my, my favorite TV shows. And so, I, of course, just to have like the whole complete series, I want both movies. Um, the first one I have on DVD, so maybe eventually I'll get it on Blu-ray. 27 Dresses with Katherine Heigl. I can't remember if I've seen this or not, but I figured it's worth a shot to watch for two bucks. The Vow. I have not watched this, and I love Rachel McAdams. She's probably my favorite actress. And then, there, of course, there's Channing Tatum. So I definitely grabbed this one, and it's got a slip cover. Let me know in the comments below if you've watched any of these movies that I haven't watched and what your thoughts are on them. Next one is The Silver Linings Playbook. We really liked this movie. We saw it in the theater. Okay, this next one is probably it's it it's probably my top five favorite movies of all time. I just love it. I've seen it so many times, and that is The Notebook with Rachel McAdams. Just I loved this whole um, love story. This is my all-time favorite love story. So this was one I'd been wanting. I have it on DVD. Oh, I could not believe I found it for two dollars. This was one of those finds that just made my day. Next one is Horrible Bosses. We loved this. Super funny. Saw it in the theaters. Had that. This is another one of my favorite kind of Christmas themed around Christmas time movies and that's Love Actually. I have it on DVD so now I'm going to replace it with a Blu-ray. I watch this usually most Christmas seasons. I just, I love this one. Okay, next one's Inception. This is an awesome movie as well, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. This is great. So, like I said, I was couldn't believe some of the movies I found because these are some of my favorite movies and I definitely wanted them in my collection. So, I was happy about this. Okay, this is to me one of those like, <laughs> oh, I remember, I, it's like brings back old memories. I used to watch it when I was younger. And then when I met my husband, he owned it on DVD. And it was one of those things where he, out of, I've never met anybody else who loves it as much as I do until, and then I met my husband and he actually had it. And it's So I Married an Axe Murderer. <laughs> I guess we were meant to be because he had this movie. I was like, what? I love this movie. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen this. Do you like it? This is just one of those that, I don't know. I just love it. I just love it. Okay, the next one is called The Descendants with George Clooney. It also came with the slipcover. 
I don't believe I've seen it, but I do like George Clooney. So for two bucks, trying it out. Ted Unrated with Mark Wahlberg. This one is funny too. Um, also came with a slip cover. It's kind of silly. Okay, the next one I got um, in a still book. It's Fast and the Furious 6. I haven't seen it before. I've only watched the first few, but it came, you know, in a nice still cover or still book with a Blu-ray and DVD, and it's still got the the digital code in there. So I don't know if it's if it's um, if it works or not. But with the still book, I got it for two fifty. So I figured I'd pick that one up. Crazy Stupid Love um, with Steve Carell, and then it also has Ryan Gosling. I really like Ryan Gosling, but it was brand new, so haven't seen it. Have to watch that. Okay, the next two were films that are 3D, and we do, you know, have a 3D player. So this one's Sharks 3D and Dolphins and Whales 3D, and we enjoy these kind of documentary, real-life type movies, so... Next one is The Boondock Saints. I don't think I've seen this before. So this was one where I figured, you know, I it's just it's worth the watch and I'll watch it and then um, decide from there if we're going to keep it in our collection. Slumdog Millionaire. I think I watched this once a long time ago, but I was like, I need to watch this again because I remember it being good. So I need to see it again. Across the Universe. I'm a huge Beatles fan. I like this movie. I love the music in it. So this was... Uh, definitely one I wanted to add into my collection. Rain Man. This is another kind of, to me, kind of classic movie. Um, I've seen this one several times. Love it and definitely want it in my collection. Shooter. An awesome movie with Mark Wahlberg. This one's, this one's awesome. Saving Private Ryan. Another really, really good movie with Tom Hanks and Matt Damon. So glad to have that one. Last but not least, Tombstone. I've actually never seen this movie, but of course I've heard really good things about it, so um, I'll have to watch it, but I decided to grab it. Most of the movies are movies I'd seen. I know that I, I really enjoy and we would want, and then there there are a few that I hadn't, but for $2 I'm okay trying, trying them out and seeing um, if we want to add them to our collection. So, that's all of them. Definitely some that are my favorites, some that I'll try out, but super stoked about all these blu-rays so yeah let me know in the comments below if you enjoy thrift shopping if you found any recent finds that were awesome or let me know if you've watched any of these movies i hadn't seen and what your thoughts are on them so all right well i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to y'all later bye